I know I'm fired up after another terrible loss. Let's talk about it. Habs fans, welcome back to this week's edition of the Habs Fan Forum. My name is Ben Denku, and here at the Habs Fan Forum, this of course is where us fans get to have our voices heard, and they are needed right now. I know I'm fired up after another terrible loss, and the players definitely don't look fired up playing for their coach. Let's talk about it. The Habs go winless in another three, bringing their losing streak to seven games going 0-6-1. They are winless in December. That's bad. They lost to Chicago, they lost to St. Louis, and they lost to Pittsburgh. But what's worse than losing is just the way they are losing. It is so deflating. The bottom line is this is not going to get any better. Do we really think the players are going to play this whole 52 games under this coach? playing with this attitude and make it through. Oh my gosh, it, it's brutal. They cannot do this for another 50 games. Jake Allen nailed it this week. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but he said something along the lines of, "You, ha it's okay to lose, but it's the way you play. And oh, I, can't, I cannot tell you how many times in the third period, I have wanted to just turn off the games because they just look lifeless. Up against Pittsburgh, in the, they're down 4-2. Actually, they're down 3-2. They let a quick goal happen, 4-2. In the third period, with a two-goal uh, deficit, that's a very... I mean, it's not an easy comeback against the Pittsburgh Penguins, but it's very possible. Yet, did I have any faith that that was going to happen? No. And, like, not even did I have faith. You could just see it on the ice that this was not happening. And, of course, the Pittsburgh Penguins proved us right when they scored it, make it 5-2, and that game was well out of reach at that point. Okay, look, they are trending to be the worst Montreal Canadiens team of all time. I don't think any of these young players want to be labeled with that, especially after last year where they went to the Cup. It's just such... Oh, but, okay, that's happening. That's in the cards. I mean, there's injuries, there's, there's changes of personnel, um, a whole bunch of things. We are in that motion now. But let's put this into a little perspective. The Buffalo Sabres in 2014 were carrying the record for a little while of the worst team in salary cap history. They had a 52-point season. Oof, that was a brutal year. I remember watching the Sabres that year. Not to pick on the Sabres, I'm sorry. I do have a point here. However, that's not even the worst record in the salary cap era. You know who was? The 2020 Detroit Red Wings. And they actually finished the season with 39 points, which is obviously awful. But... We all knew the Detroit Red Wings were going to rebuild last year. And the, the, the vision was clear. The voice was clear. The players were young, developing, playing for their coach. And they're going to get better this year. And, well, they're going to get a little bit better this year and keep getting better. But this Habs team, which is trending to 41 points, like this is, we're not talking 90s bad here with some of those new franchises, but like comparatively, this is, they're trending for the second worst record in salary cap history in the last 15, well, 17 years. Um, but in that case, they don't look fun to watch. So it's just not the same. All right, I'm going to take a quick little break, talk about something a little more positive. Uh, Habs Fan Forum is proudly a part of Rocket Sports Media and the Hockey Podcast Network, and we are sponsored by DraftKings. Right now in the swing of hockey season, maybe if you're a Habs fan, you can win, you know, you can add some joy by winning some money because, because right now if you download DraftKings Sportsbook as a new user and place a bet of one dollar they will give you a free hundred dollars of betting credits as long as one team scores a goal which is pretty much gonna happen all you have to do is use the promo code THPN and if DraftKings Sportsbook is not available in your state that's okay you can still download as a new user and win huge cash prizes by using the promo code THPN look we all know, like, Carey Price and Shea Weber, uh, you know, aren't here from last year. We all know Dano and some of the people they didn't re-sign and KK and leaving and all that, all the personnel change. Um, this isn't the same team as last year. We know that, okay? We know that. And more, more importantly now, because we're, what, 
30 games in. We can't be talking about last year at this point. More importantly, we know the injuries are piling up. And out of the gate, this team did not perform. I have no aspirations of even a winning record at this point. I actually, you know, people are saying tank, 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 tank. Yeah, of course, obviously I want Shane Wright, but you don't have to tank with this demoralizing play in order to play back. The injuries are there. You can play well and lose because you're missing half your team. But what's more important is how they are playing. And right now, they've changed their GM. They can't change their players. They are going to trade away a bunch. I hope get some great assets. But you can't change your players right now. What can you change? You can change your coach. Just do something to spark the energy of this team. They obviously, and I mean, I can't speak for them, but they obviously look like they don't want to be playing for this coach. There's just so many signs. And I know it's not a perfect solution, but just look over in Vancouver, who's on a five-game win streak with Bruce Boudreaux. It's maddening. Like, I know it's a totally different situation, and they're not facing all the injuries and yada, 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 but if you can't see it, Jeff Gordon, I just hope you can get the ear of Jeff, Jeff Molson and tell him, please, fire Dom Ducharme. All right, that's it for this episode of the Habs Fan Forum. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, I'm a little bit wild up right now after that another winless week. Um, but I would love to hear your comments down below. Please let me know how you're feeling. I mean, if you're a Habs fan, you can't be feeling that great. So tell me why and what's going on and what you think they should do to kind of spark this team a little bit. You can, of course, check out allhabs.net and follow All Habs on Twitter for the best Montreal Canadiens coverage. All right, thanks again for watching the Habs Fan Forum. My name is Ben Danky, and of course, still even with this losing streak, woo, go Habs go, baby. <laughs>